what we do is inherently challenging. To be the first people to walk into a space to solve a problem for the first time creates a lot of challenges, and this company has never been afraid to take those challenges on. We don't have model systems, animal systems and cellular systems available to us for these unusual and rare diseases which we choose to address. So we have to create all that from the ground up. We have to create the assay systems and the cell-based systems and the animal models before we can even think about making a new medicine. It's time consuming. It is super challenging and I think that's what makes it interesting and fun. It's not uncommon that you do have failures. Everybody wants to be successful in everything that we do. But you know, the reality is that failure is probably the best way to get stronger, to get more agile, to get more smarter in many, many ways. When there is a failure, we should not immediately turn the page, but sit down and analyze what went wrong and what can be changed. What did we miss? What didn't we see? What could we have done differently? We always get some learning from that. Patients need us to do that because not everything works the first time. And we have to be resilient enough as a company, as an industry, to square our shoulders, think about it, understand what didn't work, and do it again. That makes the development in rare disease particularly complex uh, and challenging, but on the other hand, more rewarding as well. Uh, it requires a lot of science, a lot of knowledge and understanding, but also creativity. And I think the best scientists are the ones who have those insatiably hungry minds. And we have a lot of those at Alexion. It makes me very proud to work as part of a community that is honestly fearless.